Something ironic I've thought of recently is the, the most people who come into my lives and try to troll me and tell me that I'm a bad mom because maybe they've come in during a time of like overwhelm for me. So like for example, the last four days specifically, I've been a basket case. I am in complete overwhelm. I'm in a, in a crisis place. I'm in a place of crisis, right? Where I desperately need some fucking help and some reprieve from the overwhelm that I'm feeling in my life. Um, and people come in and they see me in this place of overwhelm and obviously struggling. Um, and so like, I, I'm struggling to, 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 to remain as patient and calm and quiet and, and, um, uh, like I'm yelling, I'm yelling at my kid more. I'm raising my voice more. I don't yell at him in the sense I don't call him names or anything like that, but I raise my voice because by the time I've asked six or seven times, I am so beyond desperate for him to do what I asked him to do that I'm going to yell to get him to do it. Um, it's, it's out of desperation that I yell and out of a feeling of, of not being listened to when I am begging for help and begging for, to be listened to and have someone help me go through the day. We live off grid, we homestead and I'm doing all by myself with a wild hyperactive eight year old in tow. And it makes it harder. It makes it a lot harder. It makes it more overwhelming to have someone calling your name every five seconds and then running behind your back and creating emergencies for you to go manage. So it's just a lot. And it's just the irony that the people who choose to make snark pages about me on Reddit, um, the people who choose to criticize my parenting, um, the people who choose to say that, oh, they feel so sorry for my poor kid, this, that, and the other, not a single fucking one of them has ever offered genuine constructive criticism and not a single one of them has offered to come physically and help me to help if you really care about my son you feel so bad for this poor child why don't you come and help why don't you physically come here and help me so that he is in a better place right because nobody wants him to be yelled at nobody likes that I don't want to be in a place of overwhelm. I want to be in a place where um, I am doing what is best for everybody at all times. That's what I I live for. But I am in such a place of drowning. I am in such a place of overwhelm that I can't even scrabble to the top of the barrel at this point. I am barely, my nose keeps going underwater and I'm inhaling, you know, liquid. I'm drowning. Okay, I'm drowning. Um, But the irony of that is just, it, it, it isn't lost on me. It's funny that the people who uh, are the most vocal, the most critical, the most awful are the people who are supposedly all for mental health, all for inclusivity. What the hell is that? Like, what? Like, if you see someone struggling, why don't you try to help them instead of criticize them and try to make it worse do do any of you think creating a snark page now with me it's different because i don't actually give a fuck what you think but if such you saw someone struggling and they weren't as as secure in themselves as i am do you think realistically that creating pages shit talking them on the internet do you think that would help or hinder their progress their ability to actually be better you tell me Please let me know in the comments what you think about uh, all this. I'd love to know your opinion. If you think I'm a terrible mom, please sound off in the comments and let me know so that we can all know who you are. Um, and if you have any constructive criticism, I am I am here to take it. If you have any help to offer, I am here to take it. Um, I, that would just be great. Um, but I have to get off here now because my kiddo is at the front door with the dog and the dog can overpower him.